So we are now here at the most famous Great Red Robe or Da Hong Pao. Uh, it's those six tea trees behind me to the right of this uh, three big red words. Now these six tea trees are so famous, uh, it basically becomes synonymous with the word cliff tea. Of course you can see from these six trees, they are literally hanging off a cliff, that's why it's called the cliff tea. Uh, the story, this tea, six tea trees used to belong to the Kenshin Yongle Temple. Uh, the story behind the tea trees is, the, so there used to be a student who goes to uh, the capital city for an national exam, but he actually got sick on his way uh, to, the, to, the, to the capital city. He got sick when he passed by uh, the temple, and the monks in the temple took him in and revived him with the tea picked from these six trees. Later, when he won the first uh, title after the national exam, he was rewarded a great red robe, and he came back to the temple to thank the monks, and the monks told them it's actually the trees, the tea trees that saved you. So he took off his great red robe and put it on the tea trees. That's how the tea trees got its name, great red robe. And ever since then, the, these great red robe, this, these six trees have become some of the most famous teas in China. Every year, these six trees only yield about uh, a pound of tea, and they actually stopped taking for many, many years. Uh, in 1972, when Nixon first visited the uh, first visited China, uh, Chairman Mao gave him uh, half a pound of this tea, and uh, he was laughing. He's like, "Wow, you guys are so cheap! Why well, only give me half a pound?" Little did he know, this is actually our national treasure, and uh, we literally give half of the uh, of the uh, production that year to him. But that's all urban legend, so we do not know if that's true history or not.